everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Let's go through a few news items in the intro, starting with all of the cyber trucks that you've undoubtedly noticed stacking up all over Giga Texas. There's a good reason for that. Tesla has decided to pause deliveries of the cyber truck due to an accelerator pedal issue. You can see this article by Drive Tesla Canada. Link is at the bottom and in the video description. Now, this is expected to last until about 20 April. It has to do with the cover of the accelerator, as you can see here by this short video clip. And that silver item with the uh, three rubber strips may actually dislodge and it might cause some issues with the accelerator pedal. So Tesla is holding all of the deliveries and it looks like they're holding all of the cars at the factory, possibly because it's easier to fix it in one location rather than distribute it around the country. So I'll keep watching this and hopefully we'll see the Cybertrucks beginning to move very soon. This pause in Cybertruck deliveries may actually work in Tesla's favor here at Giga Texas in the short term. That's because the South End Extension construction is blocking most of the paths for the finished Cybertrucks to the outbound lot. Now on the 5th of April, I noticed that there was saw cutting going on here on this exterior wall between these two temporary platforms on the southwest side. This is what it looked like on my 15 April video. That saw cutting is complete. You can see that access door. Also that makeshift ramp, it'll make it easy for the Cybertrucks to exit on this side of the factory. This is the current exit point on the south end of the factory. You can tell with all of the construction, the concrete work, and the preparation for uh, the steel assembly here, this path is now cut off. And the only other path is through the stamping to extension through these uh, paths that I have marked here. And all of these paths are either now blocked or about to be blocked because of all of the construction that is going on. This also introduces a lot of dirt and mud onto the vehicles as they traverse through this area. Here's a good view showing a Cybertruck coming out from underneath the new steel structure and the path that it takes. And this is an extended view of that path. Again, you can see all that mud and the construction they have to go through. Because of that, on the west side, on the north end of the end of line facility, they set up this pressure washing station to clean off the tires and the undercarriage of the cyber trucks before they begin processing through the end of line facility. So all of these changes are underway right now and something else I'll continue to monitor. One other development that I am watching is the growing number of Quicksilver gray painted Model Ys that are accumulating over on the west outbound lot. This is how it looked on my previous video. And this suggests that uh, we may be seeing this new color here for the U.S. market. I noticed that the license plate frames are the size and shape for the U.S. licenses. So these are not rest of the world Model Ys. I believe these are for the U.S. market. And finally, the Boring Company recently reached out to me and they've been very pleased with the coverage that I've been doing of the Boring Company tunneling operations at Giga Texas. So they've invited me to tour their Boring Company facility over in Bastrop, Texas. That should be coming up here on Thursday and uh, hopefully I'll be able to document some of that experience and also pass along some information. It will also kind of change my flying schedule for this week and we'll see how all of that works out. That's it for the news. Let's get into the drone, fly around and see what Giga Texas looks like today. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. Mist and low clouds is kind of dominating Giga, Texas today, so 
We're going to do an abbreviated flight path, and I'm going to stay a little lower in altitude uh, because of that and to try to increase the uh, visibility as much as I can. But we're starting here on the south end of the new electrical switchyard next to the two control trailers. We see the old temporary electrical switchyard that remains on the left, all of the trench work, the bundled conduit, and of course that red concrete on top of the conduit ahead of them. Filling in the trenches again, we see more sections of the conduit in this uh, corner now and getting ready to turn to the south to connect into this bundle as well. We see a couple other sections of the trench work for the conduit on the left center and on the top right. And this looks like it uh, is just going to be uh, continuing in this area and connecting in that second uh, control trailer on that south end of the electrical switch yard. The parking lot is very full with employee vehicles and more are coming in due to the early time of the day. The overflow lot, not so much, but we do see vehicles uh, coming in to be parked and also the uh, shuttle buses to pick up the people and move them to work. Now there's been some speculation online about the production of the Cybertrucks of the Model Ys. As you'll see later on today, it looks to me like production is uh, doing quite well. And uh, uh, perhaps some of the rumors that we've heard are not completely accurate. Anyway, on this east side is a good view at a lower altitude of some of the workshops, some of the trailers, the east warehouse on wheels, and a lot of the materials that are being stored here. On the bottom of the screen is more scaffolding items that are awaiting use in other parts of the factory as construction continues. On this side of the site, and these uh, tent and this covered structure, this is where a lot of the fabrication is done for the pipe segments, uh, some of which we've seen installed on the roof that uh, covers about two thirds of the length of the factory. And so that was a good view of where that happens. As we climb up over the trees and some of the earthwork on the right hand side of the screen, we get a good view of the multi-level parking garage and the activity that is going on to continue with the steel corrugated pipes for the underground water storage management system. Of course, Robotic Avenue's new pavement here for the extension to the south. And you can also see on the right hand side of the screen where eventually those will be connected into one long road. As I turn to the left, this is a good view of the east testing and calibration lot, the helicopter pad, and of course on the right, we can see two cyber trucks next to the wind tunnel. And a good view of the number of cyber trucks here. This looks like it's about the same as we saw previously. Uh, so these are continuing to be a, a process to move over to the west side. We do see a lot in the, the superchargers. So uh, I think there is a flow in and out of here. It's just hard to tell for sure. As I zoom in next to the east secondary entrance, we see the concrete work has uh, kind of gotten cleaned up and it looks like they're putting in rebar for more of the concrete to finish out that section. Next to these receiving doors, still waiting for that uh, earthworked area to be prepared and we'll see the concrete re restored in that area soon. Next to the towers, uh, we can see that concrete section with some of the rack mounts and some have been moved away since my previous video. Many more of the uh, racks and castings on this side of the structure. And of course the clearing location with all of the screw type piers that had been installed. We are seeing those long bundles of rebar that have been delivered. So that suggests that soon we're gonna start seeing the rebar installed for this slab question is, is, is this for an extension of the building or is this for a new kind of a rack system that will be responsible for the castings and management of that? I'm not sure, but I'll continue to monitor that. You can see all the rebar and some of the screw type piers on the right waiting for their turn to be used. Now in this section, more of the concrete has been saw cut, is being removed. You can see the stacks on the right. And it looks like this is continuing to expand 
uh, towards the right-hand side of the screen. Also, where these three receiving doors are, the thresholds have been uh, broken out and they're removing all the concrete here. Further of the uh, saw cut for removal of the concrete as well. So that is a complete rework of that section of the factory. As we fly around the northeast side and turn towards the north end of the factory, it's a good view of some of the activity here. We see some of these uh, kind of... Uh, racks on the bottom left and that's to move bodies and we also see some of these other items kind of gray red and white that have been delivered and it looks like it may be some sort of platform items many of these blue uh, trailers and more deliveries to the plastics manufacturing section and of course in this area i, I know that we're doing the production increase and expansion for the 4680s i heard a lot of loud sounds coming out of that today. So there's some pretty heavy construction going on in that area on the inside. As we wrap around the northwest corner of the factory and start heading to the south, on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see some of these blue um, bins and I'll turn so you can get a good look at them. There's actually four, three in the vi video here, uh, one inside the receiving door, and then on the left, there's another one. These are all the cans for the 4680s that are being recycled. And I'm not sure if this indicates that there's a change of production or, or what is going on, but we've seen a lot of that lately. This area where more of the concrete has been removed, all of the stairs have been removed. On the left, we see some red and black pipes being installed and that's going in through that one door. And then we also see work going on here in this opening with that green wall panel that has been installed. So there is activity here. Some rebar on the ground has been delivered, but we'll see what this end up being in the near future. So let's get ready to cross over the highway and resume on the Northwest staging location. This area has seen a lot of steel items stored and moved and then replenished over the years. This is how it looks today. The surface has been prepared for uh, more, I don't know, organized structure of keeping up all of these steel items. We can see some of the uh, shoring uh, pieces on the ground where the steel is put to prevent them from being touching the ground directly. And then here we see many of the Evapco fan units, very similar to what we've seen at the battery cathode plant chiller unit. And the numbers of these suggest that this is going to be for a different installation other than that chiller plant, more of the items here in this staging location. So it might be some things that we see being put on the roof of the main building uh, or maybe another structure. This staging yard is uh, busy with a lot of materials, trailers, those two tents, of course, and just other uh, activity that uh, is supporting the overall construction of the site. We see some materials being stored here in this kind of a small yard next to the trees. As we fly over this unprepared surface and to this new roadway that connects uh, River Road on the south and Tesla Road on the north, we see some interesting developments. Not only the road work on the right-hand side of the screen, but this newly paved lot is almost empty now of cyber trucks. Now, in my previous video, we saw over 100, probably closer to 200 being stored here. And in the interim time, there were more stored here, but it looks like most of them have been moved away. In fact, we're going to see that uh, the majority of them have been moved to the outbound lot on the right-hand side of the screen and the left-hand side of the screen, as well as the south end by the superchargers. But this is what remains in this particular lot right now. And as we fly over this grouping of vehicles, a lot of them are cyber trucks. Of course, Model Ys are intermixed as well. This uh, truck that's picking up three of the cyber trucks also has one of the Quicksilver Model Ys. In fact, we've seen almost all of the Model Ys that are painted in that Quicksilver that were all grouped together on my previous video have now been moved and many of them transported off site based on some reports that I have heard and seen on various postings. I'll turn back towards the outbound lot here and we get a good uh, view of the number of vehicles that are staged and ready for pickup, the number of trucks that are arriving here on site. 
course, the earthwork that's continuing to expand this southern part of the outbound lot, and of course, more of the conduit that's being installed in those trenches. On the left-hand side of the screen, we see newly arrived uh, Model Ys going through final checkouts before going to their places in the outbound lot. And then this is a good view of all of the cyber trucks and uh, not only the ones that are parked, but the ones that are moving and being put into various locations. Uh, it looks like these are all being prepared for shipping. And I think that's a great sign that uh, indicating that maybe they've got the particular issue resolved and they're getting ready to uh, move those vehicles around the country to the various uh, sales locations and hopefully to deliveries to customers. Now on this side of the site, as we're flying over it, we see several Model Ys and Cybertrucks, but of all different colors for the Model Ys. That's where the grouping of Quicksilver Model Ys were on my previous video. We do see some of them driving here into this uh, particular parking lot. And you can also compare the color difference between the Quicksilver and the uh, recently installed or, or delivered uh, gray color uh, for the United States. And here goes another Quicksilver Model Y heading to the uh, end of line facility. And as we cross over the test track, uh, I'll position the drone here at this lower altitude so you can see all of the uh, cyber trucks that are being prepared uh, for movement into the end of line facility on the right. On the left with that tank is where they have the pressure washing. It doesn't seem like that's needed as much with the new exit point for the cyber trucks out of the factory. And we're gonna get a good chance to see that activity a little later in the video. So it'll be uh, kind of worth watching to see what they do with this uh, pressure washer station now. Here's a good overall view of the entire facility and all of the locations where the cyber trucks are stored. And I'll bring the drone down lower so you get a good view here along the east side of the end of line facility. And uh, based on what we saw in a previous video, it looks like more of the cyber trucks have actually been leaving this location than they are replenishing them. So that's another great sign. You can see a cyber truck exiting the end of line on this side as well. And then here next to the tent, we see three Model Ys being uh, processed. The uh, Quicksilver version has the U.S. license plate holders. So again, I think that that indicates it's for the U.S. market and not for export. Good view of the activity at the superchargers. Kind of a mix of Cybertrucks and Model Ys here today. And uh, we'll fly up over this location, seeing some of the Cybertrucks exiting the south end of the end of line facility and a different view of all of those Cybertrucks stored on the left. Now I'm going to pull back away to reveal another large section of the Cybertrucks being stored here on the south side of the superchargers. And uh, this just gives you a really good sense of the number of Cybertrucks that are uh, at least being stored here and then the other ones being processed for shipping. So let's prepare to take a look at the activity now of the boring tunnel operation. We see some changes at the boring company site, one of which on the right hand side of the screen is the trailer that had the generator has been removed and it looks like we are now getting power from Giga Texas's uh, uh, electrical system. And I'll give you a closer view of that here in just a second, but I also wanted to show the items here that are awaiting their turn to uh, be installed at the end of the proof rock uh, machine. And of course the tunnel itself, the uh, concrete segments that have been in place and you can see the ramp that allows the movement of equipment inside the tunnel and also that uh, kind of that train that that brings the uh, concrete segments in that are continuing to be used to make more of the tunnel. Good view of the control trailers and some of the operational items here, of course, with the tunnel segment and the other items waiting for installation along with that beam and the conveyor and belt system. Wanted to show you what the clearing location looks like here. Uh, the tunnel is going through this location and getting ready to go underneath the roadway. Also pay attention to the 
three uh, poles that are on the uh, bottom right, also in the middle of the screen. This indicates the location of the tunnel, and we'll see something very similar on the other side of the highway. And uh, I think that's a great indicator of where the tunnel will be going as the tunneling continues. Here's a good close-in view of the operation from this vantage point, and also that uh, center beam with the conveyor belt system. Um, this is the location where we had that trailer that had the generators, but you can clearly see there's a new trailer that has a transformer and other electrical items, uh, and it looks like that is definitely connected to the electrical system now for Giga Texas. That may indicate that the boring operation may be getting ready to uh, proceed at a faster rate. At the spoils bin, it looks like they are mixing in some sort of dirt or mixture in where the dirt comes out of the tunnel. And it looks like uh, there's also some kind of mud in there as well. So that may indicate what's coming out of the tunnel as the water table here is fairly high. So maybe that's something that they're having to deal with. Of course, a good view here of the site looking across the uh, highway and where the tunnel may be entering into the factory through that uh, open section uh, just hidden by the crates for the glass. So let's get ready to cross back over the highway and resume on that side of the uh, site. And uh, here we are. I'm going to give you a good view of what's going on here. You'll note all of the cyber trucks on the roadway. This is the new path. Here's some more cyber trucks coming out. Uh, and uh, speaking of which, you can see the new exit point between the two temporary loading platforms and all of the cyber trucks coming out. Some of them are going to the lot on the left next to the trailer. Many of them are going to the right and following the road over to the west outbound lot. And this is a one of several groups of about eight to ten cyber trucks exiting that location and it was happening approximately every 10 minutes from what i could tell in the time that i was observing so it may not be a direct indication of the production rate but it does seem like it's at a pretty good clip as we fly along the west side past the west main entrance a few items i wanted to show you in this uh, cordoned off location. It looks like there's some new excavation work going on here next to the uh, guy with the uh, stop sign. And then further to the north, just past this uh, tree aligned area, we see these blue kind of flexible pipes, additional work that is being done on this uh, sewage system. Uh, and uh, we've seen a lot of work here over the last several years, and it looks like uh, additional work is taking place uh, now again on this particular system. As we get closer to the Model Y end of line, the exit point from the factory, it is extremely busy today. And definitely with what we see here, production of Model Ys is moving along at a pretty quick clip today. And I think that's a really great sign. Now, as we pass the West Main entrance again, I did notice that there's kind of this bronze looking, maybe uh, burgundy looking um, cyber truck that has just been delivered. And I don't know if that's a personal vehicle or if maybe that's a new color that uh, Tesla is going to be offering for the cyber trucks. But uh, I thought you might find that pretty interesting. Also, work is being done on this gravity ramp, the red and gray ramp. Uh, you can see the trailers on there, some of the work being done next to the threshold of that receiving door. And the idea is that those uh, trailers would be on the ramp and then gravity will help uh, remove the items inside, uh, making it a more efficient process. As we continue to fly to the south, I wanted to give you a closer view of this holding yard with the cyber trucks. Looks like there's some updates that are underway with the flashing lights. And unlike previously, all of these cyber trucks look like they have all of the parts, so they're not waiting for additional items like they used to be. And these four cyber trucks just came out of the factory. You can see the Model Y, that's uh, one of the drivers. 
and I think they're just waiting for the drivers to return from the west side so they can move those uh, over to that location. As we fly along the west side of the main structure, there is a lot of activity that is going on on all of the floors, including the roof section, the glass as well. You can see more of the glass that's stored in this uh, location to the right, and of course, the trapezoidal uh, foyer or entranceway is continuing to take shape with uh, the concrete floors on the second floor mostly all poured. We see the crane lifting up these white items that is a part of the insulation for the roof and that is now being positioned and we also see the concrete has been poured on the roof section of that one tunnel on the left and then here we see the crews installing more of the glass panels using that counterweighted suction cup device and the crane. And that is uh, continuing to extend the glass along the south side of the building. So I think uh, what I wanna do first is uh, pull back and get up with some altitude. I wanna show you what this overall south end looks like, and then we'll take some closer in views shortly. As I pivot the drone to look down on this southeast corner, a, a lot of activity with rebar, some forms, of course, these dual uh, parallel rows of these heavily reinforced footings and what look like concrete column bases. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation on what this is, what it might be. Uh, most of the speculation that I have heard, especially on social media, is uh, most likely completely inaccurate, but uh, it is still a bit of a mystery and it'll be something that I continue to monitor. Now, I did want to just give you a quick look at this east side of stamping and body of white uh, just to see what kind of activity is going on. And it just looks like some deliveries use of that uh, temporary platform uh, for the second floor. And then, of course, this is how the multi-level parking garage and the work that's going on in the ground also work inside for the concrete work on all of the floors. Um, also, taking this opportunity to get a little lower along the uh, stamping machine uh, east side, I want to give you another look at that double column row of those uh, footings and the concrete uh, bases on the left, more of the steel items. A lot of the construction here is going on so that uh, the Cybertrucks really can't come through this area safely anymore, um, and most of the uh, pathways that they had is being blocked, so that's why they have that new exit point. But uh, this is also a great opportunity since the large crane is being disassembled, and we have a smaller crane that has been brought in. And uh, we will most likely see this uh, larger crane uh, removed from the site over the next several days. And in addition to that, we see concrete walls, more forms being placed uh, along the right-hand side of the screen. This large concrete slab uh, has uh, mostly been completed. More of the walls with the uh, forms here as well, and more of the steel structure has been installed. Now, on the right-hand side of the screen in that... Uh, dirt area, that is where some are speculating the boring tunnel will come through, and we'll see if that is in fact the case. Good low altitude view here on the ground floor of all of the activity with concrete forms, those three underground uh, kind of vaults or tunnels that have had all the concrete poured now, more of those forms for the uh, walls, and just a, a good look at the activity that is going on here. Also, some of the equipment that's been brought in to the second floor. On the roof, again, we see the uh, bundles of insulation that are being placed and preparation of beginning the weatherproofing of the roof. So this is another great uh, sign that this uh, construction is picking up a lot of steam. Steel items on the left, more of the rebar on the bottom right. You can see some of those red forms and, of course, a good close-in view of these uh, mystery footings and very tall column concrete bases, perhaps, and still trying to figure out a reasonable explanation for what this is. So I'm going to turn back around, along the uh, roof section, give you a good view of the continued uh, work to prepare to put that weatherproof membrane on the uh, roofing, 
And some people have asked about why the uh, roof is not completely flat, and that is because of rainwater management. You need a pitch so that the water will collect and go into the drains that they are installing, and that'll go into the water management system. So that's a pretty quick look on this misty and low cloud day of Giga Texas. A lot of activity with production, cyber trucks, and construction as well. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great week.